Well, joining me now in the studio is Polly Bronstein, the CEO of Darkano, the movement for a moderate majority in Israel. And on Skype, we'll hear from Eli Hazan, international spokesman of the ruling Likud party. But let me start with you, Polly. Israel as the Jewish state, Hebrew as the official language. Most, the majority, certainly, of Israeli Jews agree with those positions. So what's wrong with this uh, bill? We don't oppose a nation-state bill. We oppose this nation-state okay. bill. So. Obviously, as a person that supports a two-state solution, I do believe that one state in the future should be Palestinian and the other should right. be the nation-state of the Jewish people, a democratic state with equality for all of its citizens. But this bill that is pro proposed now is not that kind of bill. This bill, first of all, puts the Jewish uh, in uh, advance over democracy and over equality and puts uh, the 20 percent who are not Jew Jewish in yeah. Israel in a, a very a lower s uh, standard. And this is something to be fought. And again, you don't need to only look at the bill and what it's written there. You need to look at the motives. And the motives of the Likud party and the prime minister that are advancing this bill are totally political and don't have the best interest of Israel in its uh, mind. It has the best interest of uh, Netanyahu and his uh, personal survival. So this is a political bill. And I want to say something else. The same way as with the metal detectors that we saw in the last few days. We do not oppose the metal detectors. We think Israel has a right to put on Temple Mount metal detectors. But the way you do it should be in a diplomatic way, in a sensitive way, in coordination with the Jordanians, with the Palestinians. The fact that we did it this, the way we did it and everything you know went into uh, bursted right. into uh, flames it's the same with this bill it's the way you do it okay. it's how well, smart wanna, you do wanna, it wanna, and wanna, how diplomatic you do I it i want to give eli hazan a chance to respond but eli isn't it doesn't this bill reduce the status of israeli arabs is that necessary to have a jewish state bill no not at all i was listening to the respected lady and it is very funny in a sense because she did not mention that in 1992 the Knesset promoted two laws, two fundamental laws which changed the balance between Jewish and democratic. Moreover, you can look at the state of Israel. There is almost full equality to the Arabs. It's not about that. It's about bringing back the balance between Jewish and democratic. Mm -hmm. uh, but what about the way in which it's being done? There are other more moderate versions of this bill that maybe could have gotten even some of the opposition on the side. Why not pursue it that way? Because we were elected by the people, and we want to promote our ideology. We were not elected by the left wing. They can do whatever they want. But right now, we have a majority. We have ideology. We have uh, a way that we want to act, uh, in a sense. And we believe in that very much. Right. And it is very funny. I must tell you one thing. And Avi Dichter, the lawmaker, already mentioned that during the, uh, the meeting today. Some of the lawmakers signed a very similar proposal only a few years ago when Kadima was the ruling party in Israel. So what has been changed? One thing, it was, uh, it was a, a suggestion of Likud. That's the difference. Okay, so let me ask you that, Polly. Here, Eli is saying there were similar bills, only now you're opposing it because it's Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Likud proposing it. No, I think we're opposing it because the way it is uh, designed and how it's written. And the fact is, I, I was in the Knesset today and I saw how the opposition came out of this uh, um, um, discussion. They were appalled. It was uh, a storm. It was terrible. The fact is that a bill like this should be written in consensus with the majority of the Knesset members. This is an important bill. And by the way, the Minister of uh, Justice, Ayala Chaket, says today, this is something that needs to be thought carefully. The fact that they're doing it like thieves in the night, very, very fast on the I last am, day of the Knesset uh, summer I'm... session is because this is just political. It has nothing to do with uh, the vision for Israel. Ellie, I really have five, 10 seconds to give you a quick response. In 1992, they promoted a bill, by the way, by Likud members of Knesset, which was uh, too liberal. Okay. By, I... no, by a minority, and we must remember that. We okay. are only balanced. Eli, Eli, Eli Hazan from the Likud, Pauli Bronsi from Dokenu, thanks for joining us, and Eli Helchenberg.